Hello and welcome. My name is Joe Cooper and I'm the lead instructor for VMware's brand new vSphere What's New 6.7 to version 7 course from VMware Education. This is an exciting course that covers everything that we've done in the release of vSphere since the, re since the initial release of vSphere 6.7. So for updates 1, 2, and 3 of vSphere 6.7, as well as the newly announced vSphere 7, we're going to give you a comprehensive look at what's new in the platform. The course is three days in duration and comes to you in a couple of different modalities. You can take an instructor-led course where you have a live instructor that'll come to you, or you can take that same class online, and you have a self-paced on-demand option available as well. Instructor-led options start in late April, and the on-demand version will be available in, uh, in mid-June. So who is this for? vSphere What's New is a deep dive into the new features of vSphere. So this course is not for somebody who needs an introduction to vSphere. If you're looking for an introduction to vSphere, please feel free to take the Install, Configure, and Manage course that has also been updated for vSphere 7. So vSphere What's New is designed for system architects, administrators, managers, VMware partners, and individuals who are really responsible for designing and implementing and managing, managing your vSphere architectures. Okay. Now, in saying that, there is some prerequisite knowledge that you should have coming into this course. And if you've taken VMware's Install, Configure, Manage course, or our Optimize and Scale course, or a Fast Track course, which is really a combination of those courses, or even our vSphere troubleshooting class, you should have no problem following this particular course. So what am I gonna learn in these three days? Well, after a brief introduction, which includes some inf information on certification, we're gonna dive deeply into the new features in vSphere. But first, we'll start by helping you get to vSphere 7. So module two will help you migrate your current environment to ESXi uh, and vCenter version seven. So whether you're running the Windows version of vCenter or the Linux appliance, we'll teach you not only how to complete your upgrade, but why you might want to complete that upgrade. And this is not just theory. Throughout the entire three-day course, you'll do work in a live lab environment as well. In module three, we'll have a look at all of the new enhancements to the vCenter appliance and the HTML5 vSphere client. We'll look at new features of content libraries, where we take advantage of the instant clone technology in vSphere to perform live updates to templates hosted in our content libraries. We'll have a look at the exciting new Identity Federation features, where we can incorporate vCenter with Active Directory Federation services. We'll look at the new, uh, several new and easy ways to manage the certificate system in vSphere. And finally, we'll dive into VMware Skyline, which is a new technical support system that shortens the time it takes to resolve problems, getting you back to business quickly. In modules four, five, six, and seven, we'll look at all of the ESXi virtual machine storage and networking enhancements, including what's new in vSAN. These have all been introduced since the initial release of vSphere 6.7. Once again, that's vSphere 6.7 updates 1, 2, and 3, as well as what's new in vSphere 7. In Module 8, we'll cover the new vSphere Trust Authority and enhancements to virtual machine encryption. In Module 9, we'll discover DRS 2.0, cluster quick start, scalable shares, and dynamic path I.O. vSphere Lifecycle Management is the topic of Module 10, where we'll learn about the replacement for vSphere Update Manager. It creates a cluster image including ESXi, patches, extensions, and plugins, as well as hardware components like firmware, and applies them uniformly to the entire cluster. It's a comprehensive solution and a big improvement from previous versions. Finally, in Module 11, we'll have a look at Kubernetes and containers and show how vSphere incorporates these technologies directly into the hypervisor. This module is not comprehensive of Kubernetes on vSphere, but it does give you a great introduction to the technology. For those of you really looking to take a deep dive into vSphere with Kubernetes, there's a brand new, three, uh, brand new course coming in mid-June. 
So that's a very busy three days. We look forward to seeing you this year in our vSphere What's New course. Thank you very much for listening.